Welcome to Aid to the Church in Needs, Where God Weeps, a program dedicated to the situation of the suffering church around the world. The state of Macedonia came into existence with the dismantling of Yugoslavia. The Macedonian Catholic Church, once again free, is flourishing. The small community of 14,000 faithful are actively working and reaching out to rebuild their church and their nation. Churches in villages were empty for decades because they couldn't uh, find enough priests to, to celebrate the Mass, but they kept the collective memories. Macedonia reflects the religious mix typical to the Balkan region. Catholics are a minority. In a state which numbers over two million inhabitants, the majority is Orthodox. In one of the most difficult moments of the Catholic Church in this area, apart from the turbulent political activities at state level, in their difficult economic situation, a lot of pressure is put on the relationship between other denominations, especially the Orthodox Macedonian Church. The heart of the conflict was not a religious, it was more with the politics. More than 12,000 Byzantine Rite Catholics are completely surrounded by the Orthodox Church, and the relations between them were not very easy in their history. For the moment, they are very good. Orthodox believers, seeing so active Catholic priests, are coming to the churches. So step by step, they are closer and closer. In the little town of Ohrid, the cradle of Christianity in these parts, the Catholic and Orthodox churches try to follow the ecumenist incentive by embarking on joint ventures in projects that are important for the whole community. One such project is founding a daycare centre for children who suffer from cerebral palsy. This cooperation between the Orthodox and Catholic churches annoys some people, but for the most part, people are happy. They've been collaborating for years now, and they are good friends because they have a lot in common in many areas.